Hey guys, good morning. Woo, you are almost done. You've almost made it to the end of Leap to Lead. I'm so proud of you. So today is day four of week four, and we're gonna talk about the chain of command, and we're gonna also talk about how to teach a man to fish, right? You've heard of the saying that if you fish for them, they're to become dependent on you, but if you teach them to fish, they'll be able to fish for a lifetime, right? So let's talk about the chain of command first. The chain of command is so important in your business. When you become an essential consultant, on the left-hand side of your um, workstation, it's going to tell you who your sponsor is, who your director is, who your store director is, who your superstore director is, right? And that would be your chain of command as far as people. But when you first start, and even when you become a superstar director, the first thing you go to, the first thing is your workstation, your news tab. News tab is gonna tell you everything that's going on. If you have a question about back orders, if you have a question about something new, an LTO that's coming out, if you have a question about, you know, anything, the training center, that is where you will go. If you can't find it there, we have a team page. And if you don't have a team page, you go to your sponsor. And if your sponsor doesn't know, then you can go to your director and so forth up to star director, superstar director, right? But you got to give those people a moment to shine too. Your sponsor may be new. She may have you as her first teammate. She wants to be able to shine and show you all the things. And if you jump over her and go straight to your superstar director or your star director or your director, then you're not giving that person a chance. Maybe they're a sponsor who isn't available or maybe you feel like, you know, that they haven't helped you. Well, first of all, you are responsible for your own success. You know that, right? Not your sponsor, not your director, not your star director, not your superstar director. You. You're responsible. You're the one who signed up. You're the one who bought the kit or earned the kit, right? But they're there to help you guide you to success. Guide you, not give it to you guide you. Have to understand that. A lot of people don't understand that. Like, my sponsor didn't do this, and my sponsor didn't do that. Well, if they didn't do it, find it. Find it yourself. Go out there. Research it. Let me tell you what. This COVID happened. I do a lot of events. I do a lot of home parties. I do a lot of basket parties. I do a lot of meeting people face-to-face. -face. I could have chosen, oh my gosh, COVID is here. My business is ruined. But instead, I was like, you know what? I don't know anything about virtual parties. I don't know anything about bingo parties. I don't know anything about Instagram stories, Facebook stories. I'm going to learn. I researched it. I found out. I'm on my 16th week of having bingo parties. I'm doing virtual online parties. I'm making unique shopping links for all my customers. My follow-up is on point because I really had to go back and revamp all my systems. My basket parties are still going out. I use the mail. Or I drop off, you know, contact, no contact. But I found a way to be able to evolve into how the world was going instead of sitting there going, COVID did this, or my sponsor did this, or whatever, right? You are responsible for your success, okay? That's your chain of command. So now we're going to talk about teaching a man to fish. You've heard the saying before. So when you first join, normally, normally, your sponsor, if they can, will help you with the launch party. Sometimes you say, oh, you know what, I don't need any help, I got this, and that's totally cool, but they will guide you to be able to help you do that. So we will show you how to do it. We will normally do it together with you, if that allows, and then you do it yourself. And we don't let you go out by yourself until you know all the basics, which we have covered now with Leap to Lead. We've talked about the IPAs, the income producing activities, right? We've talked about follow up and booking and hosting and taking care of yourself and recruiting and um, coaching and all those things. We, we've covered that. We've talked away about ways to get PRV. We've talked about ways to sponsor. We've talked about events. We've talked about follow up and systems. We've covered all the basics. So you would never ever want to teach someone something and show them this and then let them go if they don't fully understand it. So there is a, um, a saying, like I said, about teaching a man to fish. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to think about it like this. And this is how I learned it. So I'm going to teach it to you. Whenever you were thinking about, you know, fishing, I know nothing about fishing, but so I'm going to use this as an analogy because it'll help me understand it and help you understand it. So whenever you fish, 
You have to turn it into a nice meal, right? But what are the steps in order to turn it into a nice meal? How do you store it? Now you've caught all the fish. How do you sell them? How do you store them? How do you prepare them, right? So it's just like getting new team members. What do you do? You become duplicatable. You might join today and get a team member tomorrow. And you don't want to just say, okay, well, let me go find out from my sponsor. Okay, let me go find out from my director and become direct depend it on someone else you need to know these things too you need to research you need to find out the things to help them become duplicatable because what happens if they join under you today and then the next day they have somebody join under them right we've got to be able to do these things and we've talked about these things we've talked about the new consultant checklist we have talked about you know how to help your teammate whenever they first um, join we talked about new member sheets we've talked about dream team lists and helping them dream and helping them you know share the opportunity with others you want to be duplicatable because they want to turn around and share it with their people and you never want someone to feel like their responsibility is to make that person successful they need to walk away thinking I trained them. I gave them the meat of everything they need. Now they just have to show up and they have to do it. Because since he believes in us, we believe in you. You have to believe in yourself. I can't say that enough. So let's just say that you know all your basics now. You know, okay, well, I can teach them about PRV. I can tell them this training center. I can show them the six skills that's in the training center. I can show them the five fundamentals of sponsoring and once you become a new consultant. And being able to sponsor someone else and now you're a leader. I can show them all these things because it's in Sensei's workstation. There's no reinventing the wheel. It's already there. Sensei has everything. They have stuff that I didn't have whenever I joined. And many people didn't have when they joined. So you guys are so incredibly blessed by this. Okay. So now that you've mastered the basics, it's called how can you catch a bigger fish? You don't want to catch all these minnows and them just get away from you because they weren't trained or maybe they didn't show up or maybe they didn't ever commit or maybe they didn't ever find their why. You want to know how to catch that bigger fish, right? And in order to catch that bigger fish, you got to make sure that you know your skills and, you, and they know their skills. Sometimes the business goes down to a skill and will. Are they willing to do it or do they need the skills to do it? So you got to figure out if they're not showing up, there's something missing. Either they don't care or they have a reason in their life something's in the way, or either they don't know how. And that's up to you to be able to help them figure out that how. How do you catch more fish? You've mastered the basics. You know how to get the bigger fish. It's just up to you if you're going to go and do it. That's whenever you're consistent. That's whenever you don't give up. That's whenever you work hard. That's when you don't quit. That's when you hear those no's and it's okay. It didn't kill you. They turn into maybes. They turn into yeses down the road. That's whenever you know how this business starts to work like a machine. So how do you catch more fish? You get back out there. You're consistent. You show them that you're consistent. You do praise reports. That's when recognition and all the things come in place, right? What are the new fishing trends? Well, I just told you a second ago that I didn't know what to do with my business when COVID happened. So I looked up the other trends. I looked up online parties. I looked up all these things. Maybe you're a fundraiser person. Maybe you're an online person. Maybe you're a basket party person. Maybe you're an event person. Maybe you just like to do follow-up and your follow-up is killer. Whatever it is, your niche, your strength, that's you. That's what you work on. But you can also identify that weakness so that you can help make that stronger as well. But then you know where your strength is and you know, okay, well, this is what I'm amazing at, but this is what I'm not too good at because I'm not sure about these things. Let me go find out. And you go to the workstation and then you find out all the new things. And when people come to you and say, hey, I have a fundraiser. Somebody's talking to me about how do I do it? And maybe it's not your strength. You can say to them, if you go to the workstation, they have all kinds of fundraising things there. Because I myself am not great, but when you find out how to do these things, will you share it on our page? I'm sure there's other people out there like you and me who don't know these things, and it would help me tremendously. You have now added value to that person. You have now taught them how to go fish. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. So like I said, we usually show you, we do it together, and then you go do it. And it's like teaching someone something so that they can decide at this point, I know how to fish. So do I want to go fly fish or do I want to go bass fish or 
Do I just want to go down to the river with my kids and play as a hobby? That's whenever they're able to figure out how is this business going to work for them? You've shown them the basics. You told them how it works. They've been in that first 70 days of the sensational start and all the things since he's given us. Now they know they have an idea of how this is going to work for their life. And guess what? It's going to evolve over time. When I first started out, it was like basket parties and home parties. Then for a while, it just went to basket parties. And then for a while, it just went to events and a little bit of basket parties. And then all of a sudden, it went back to online. So it's going to evolve in the way that you work your business and then fundraisers in the fall. And you're going to be able to say, hey, you know what? I know how my business is going to run. Because this is what I do. This is where my strengths are. This is where I'm efficient. This is where my follow-up is. And this is how I do it. And I'm going to teach people how to do it. Because I'm going to be duplicatable. Because when they get someone underneath them, we're going to be able to help them as well. Okay? And then it's going back to the basics again. Over and over and over. Every January, I go back to the basics. You know, I have a recipe that I've cooked for 10 years or no longer than that now, 18 years. And it's a chicken um, fried rice or pork fried rice recipe that this Chinese lady taught me in Minnesota. And there are some ingredients and some things you have to do or it will not be as good, right? So every time I go to make that recipe, I can pull it out by memory if I want to, but I always bring out the recipe because if I forget to wash the rice and I forget to get the starch out of it, and if I forget to use the right kind of white pepper, and if I forget to put, you know, the um, bean sprouts in for a certain period of time, it's not going to have the right consistency and the texture and the light and the fluffiness that the Chinese fried rice does. So I have to go back to those basics and remind myself, don't forget to wash your rice. Don't forget this. This is something you do too. You know, when you have a new team member, we have a checklist. Since he has one, we have one for you. It's on our team page. Um, this is what we do. You want to use that checklist because you don't want to miss something. When you're doing your follow-up, you have a system. You want to use the, system, the system. You don't want to miss something. Whenever you have someone promote and they're that next level, you want to use that list to help them. But guess what? All this is on the workstation too. So if you don't have a sponsor and you're watching this and you're like, I've never even talked to my sponsor, don't beat yourself up. It's on the workstation. You can become a superstar director without ever having anyone have to tell you what to do because it's in here and it's in here. Here. And it's on your workstation and it's you showing up and it's your consistent way and commitment to your business and to yourself to be able to go out there and change the world through fragrance and to serve others. That's all it is. It's you. Believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do it. Believe me. So in short, think about the basics that we have taught you over the weeks of the IPAs, the PRV, the recruiting, the sponsoring, you know, the coaching the booking, the parties, all the things, right? Think about the basics. Think about how you can do it better. You know, hey, I'm doing this right now, but how can I be better? Because believe me, something you need to know is that you're going to always want to be better. You're not ever going to have all the answers. So don't ever think that you need to know all the answers. And it's okay to tell people you don't know the answers, but you will try and go find it. But challenge them to go find it too. Teach them how to fish, okay? And then know that tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to be better than I was today because there's something that's going to happen today that's going to make me better for tomorrow. And when I meet someone, I try and leave them off better than when I first met them. I try and add value because I know how it is to feel like you don't have any value. And I know how it is to feel forgotten and unappreciated in life. We all do, right? So if we can show those three things in our teams that we build, in our customers that we serve, and our hostesses that book the parties with us, and overall in our life as humans, then we're going to have a successful business. You just can't quit, can't give up, and you got to work hard. That's all there is to it. Anything in life, you want to lose weight, do those three things. Do you want to go and achieve a goal and a new activity you've never done before? Go do those things. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. Keep going. Be consistent. Take the nose. Run with it. Keep going. You will hit success and whatever it is you want in your life if you do those three things so that's it that's how you go and you teach someone how to fish so that they can be fishermen for life to be able to teach their teams how to fish and that's your chain of command always go to your workstation first and your news then your team page if you have one and then your sponsor and so on but I'm proud of you for doing this I want you to look at your business from when you started and where you are today and I know you've learned a lot right and this is going to always be here for you for you to go back and look at that recipe to make sure that you got that rice right. 
to make sure that you know your team and how to duplicate it and what am I missing and what can I be better at? This is going to be here and we're really proud of you. In the next week, the bonus week, we're going to talk about mindset. Mindset's very important. It's a belief that you believe about yourself, a thought that you have that is creating results that you have in your life. And this is very effective in your business if you can get your thoughts right. So I'm super proud of you. Thank you for being here. We love you and we will see you soon. Bye.